So today I am back with another interesting topic. Hope you all will like it. So without any further delay, let's get started. In one of my previous video of this channel, I have discussed about how to create student registration form in HTML using Notepad. Today, I will be showing how to create student registration form using Sublime Text or any text editor. So, without any further delay, let's get started. First, open Sublime Text. Save a file as h4.html. To tally the output for the user interface, keeping the text editor and the browser output side by side. Starting with the basic HTML tags. Within the body tag, using form tag, form name as f1. Within the opening and closing form tag, writing different elements of personal information such as name, father's name, roll number, phone number, etc. To see the output, save the changes made with Ctrl S and refresh the browser. First element is enter name. So, enter name within third bracket input type equals to text name equals to f name placeholder equals to first name input type equals to text name equals to l name placeholder equals to last name to different text field for first and second name text input type defines a field for entering text Second element, enter roll number, input type, text, name equals to roll number. You can also use input type number which is used to define number input fields. Followed by father's name and mother's name, input type text, name equals to FA name and M name respectively. Inserting br tag after each entry field to ensure gap between them. Fifth element is email id, email id input type equals to email id, name equals to email. Email input type defines a field for an email address, followed by phone number, input type equals to number, name equals to phone number. Date of birth DOB input type. Date of birth input type equals to date, name equals to DOB. Input type date defines a date picker. The resulting value includes year, months and days.
followed by enter password input type equals to password name equals to pass password field defines a password field where character are masked followed by gender field for that using radio input type radio input type defines a radio button radio buttons are normally presented in radio groups a collection of radio buttons describing a set of related options only one radio button in a group can be selected at a time gender field input type equals to radio name equals to r1 for male input type equals to radio name equals to r2 for female you can see if the names are different then both the options get selected using same name r1 for male and female so only one option gets selected moving on to next field department for that using checkbox input type checkbox input type defines a checkbox the checkbox is shown as a square box that is ticked checked when activated checkboxes are used to let a user select one or more options of a limited number of choices so department input type equals to checkbox name equals to d1 for ee department similarly for ce me ece cse it names are d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 respectively for blood group using drop down input field that is select blood group writing opening and closing select tag with different options select name equals to blood group then writing different options for blood group
to add photo to the form using file input type photo input type equals to file name equals to file And finally, submit button. Input type equals to button, value equals to submit, name equals to BTN. On click event is added to make the form responsive. I will show how to make the form responsive in my next video. Hope you all will get some help from this video. If it's so, then don't forget to subscribe my channel Code with Neha and press the bell icon for regular updates. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.